Hi, uh, today I'm going to uh, give you an example to create furniture design using the Fusion 360. But right now I create the, this furniture, I call this uh, chair, uh, single chair, and then I use this kind of uh, T-spline technology uh, which is uh, embedded in the Fusion 360. Uh, first of all, you can create uh, this uh, this plane environment using a create form you can find it here create form is a basically a kind of the modeling uh, the new the new method of the modeling of 3d model in the fusion which is they uh, incorporate the freeform modeling so we can basically uh, using our imagination and our creativity to create the product uh, first of all i use this uh, box as a base original or, or starting point to create a 3d model create block and then i create this plane as a starting plane and specify point i use a dimension maybe 100 uh, with a 75 okay Okay, once the box is created, they have a dialog box here. We can control the width, the length, the height, and also the face. If I increase the number of face, maybe I decrease by two. You can see the difference. Yeah, two by two, like this. Or I can put it uh, four by four for the number of face. This means is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the height also we can control. Uh, I'm using the 20 as a height. Or maybe maybe less 15. Yeah, okay. I use 15 for this uh, particular uh, height. Okay. And then we also can put a mirror symmetry. So if we edit uh, one of the vertices here, then uh, the other, which is the main mirror line with the lights on, and they reflected the same as a mirror. We put this mirror here. I If I click symmetry, so this is the line of the mirror symmetry. So when you e edit this vertices or this face, and then the other faces will be reflected as a mirror okay and then i just click ok and as you can see here there's a mirror line so if i using this edit form let's say i edit so this uh, face here is reflected the same okay okay right now as a chain so i would like to create this using edit form i move a little bit okay and now this is the basically a kind of a intuition when we create the uh, when we create the shape here okay and then also i can edit this one one two three four we just doing this editing form using the modify command here yeah okay so basically this uh face is more likely like here and here here and i give a little thickness to here so the shape is a uh, kind of an organic shape to model our uh, shape of our uh, chair right like this okay okay while you finish with the shape here 
and I also want to create this uh, leg for the for the chair which is I like to use this uh, we can also add put an additional uh, face by using uh, alt key in your keyboard when you press alt key and then you press this uh, move or shape here and then you can see that there is uh, additional shape right there and also I will put it again with using the alt key so it's become a new uh, body and then I also uh, select all those face okay uh, this is a tips when you select using the selection here and then suddenly all the face will be selected this is because this uh, selection filter I put the check mark on the select through so when you when you turn off this select through and then you came out here so the other face cannot be selected because this selection filter you must select with the select through okay I will scale it up here this one is icon for the scale scale for the one uh, one particular axis and if you can see here there is an icon for scaling up for the plane xy plane which is when I click when I drag in here and then this particular face will be uh, scale okay I'm using one more scale to scale the leg of the chair here okay now the leg is looks like uh, I can keep an additional uh, form here okay this is basically there's just an intuitive way to create a something like this and then I put it a little bit maybe not 10 maybe 4 yeah I think 4 is will be good and also from the side view no maybe 3 no minus 3 yeah and then we also can rotate this uh, particular leg yeah like that and as you can see here there is a round area which is uh, is weird for a leg of a chair with have a round so I will I can put this into a flat using this command using crease edge with the crease edge we can select this particular uh, line here and then when it's done it will be the flat faces okay okay i give a little bit if you double click with these uh, edges and then you can use a uh, scale also it will control the uh, okay i think it will be enough okay yeah I think this one is need to be thin okay and then the rest uh, I do the same thing for the back leg of the chair 
then I use uh, Alt key don't forget to click your Alt key Alt key okay and then I give a scale for this leg Okay, should be bigger. Okay, and then I move this particular position here, and I think I'm gonna put yeah. Okay, that will be good. And then no, yeah. Okay. So be with a nice looking chair. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the weight of the person who will sit here is much bigger at the back. So I give this leg is much bigger than the rest. So the problem is how we can lev level this uh, particular leg here to the same. Uh, firstly, I will create the offset plane from the original position here. I create an offset. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Seventy will be okay. And then I can use also the crease edge. Crease edge for this particular. Uh, okay. okay and then as you can see here there's a different uh, line of the leg so we must uh, i like to position this all these vertices here to level with this uh, faces that face that i created before so i can use this uh, flatten i just simply uh, click all those vertices and then I select a plane I select this plane as a reference so you can see here that all the vertices will be lined up with this plane so I put a little scale a little bit okay. here, here also I put a little bit smaller okay here we come the uh, chair with this uh, leg okay right now uh, let us create for the back of this uh, chair using uh, I like to use this one of the uh, surface here I put a additional additional surface uh, don't forget to click the alt key okay I put rotation of this uh, and I add add an additional alt key okay there's a problem here maybe I undo it this problem lies because there is a mirror uh, I don't want to use that kind of mirror so I also can click all this Faces and this considered as not a mirror but a single faces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this will look different. Oh wait. 
forget to click the alt key yeah and then this face here is stick around over there mm, there's a problem here because all, all those uh, faces is uh yeah give a little bit Okay, yes, as you can see here, there is a potential error because uh, the one thing that is uh, yeah, okay, okay, I think that will be good enough, and then uh, I also put this modify command to create this kind of a uh, position here yeah okay i put additional uh, area here and then so i need more faces here yeah okay yeah i think it will be enough for this particular uh, kind of a uh, chair yeah? and then to make more ergonomically nice looking and then i will move this uh, yeah. make sure you select the yeah make sure you get this good selection here and then I also will tend to rotate this particular position here I add more face and then I rotate it to create yeah okay yeah and then if I like to put this uh, faces here to match to the position there I can use this kind of a uh, bridge yes the bridge I forgot the comment so side one and then this one is side two and then if you have a curve you can put the follow curve but you have to create the sketch for the curve and then the number of face uh, we can uh, preview yeah this is number of face I use one uh okay i use one and then if you click maintain crease and then this uh, particular edges will be creased out let's try yeah perfectly line up good and then i just put a little bit uh move here oh oh sorry this one, no, I can use a select two here. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. This one, I move it up. Yes, a little bit. Okay, and then I also can position this. Here to make much more uh, bigger. So it's now basically we can select 
all this uh, feature here uh, edges for this is our our face or edge to get the perfect position yeah like as you can see here yeah right now our chair is done oh we need more little bit okay to make a much more surface on here yeah okay right now we have done to create our uh, chair here I think this one is not lined up perfectly yeah 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 it's more or organically ergonomically great and then while you have done you can just click the finish form here okay there's a surface that this time failed to convert so i return and then we see the highlight surface maybe self intersection try to modify uh i see here this is the highlighting surface when i double click there is a red surface here then i close it uh, the thing is that maybe when they crease this edge there's a uh, something error to tends to the self intersecting surface so i can delete this surface just simply click this surface and then i click delete in the keyboard and then i can fill this hole using a hole fill i click it uh, make sure this is a uh, maintain crease edge this check mark to create a flat surface and then when i click a uh, finish form this surface is converted into the surface area okay right now i continue uh, so when this uh, chair is uh, finished you can continue with the rendering environment you can click render and then uh, we're entering a rendering environment uh, i'm not re really want to uh, discuss this rendering environment uh, because i you can see the my other video to create a render i just want a quick um, sample for render uh, i will put a uh, wood finish wood okay okay and then i turn off this construction <coughs> and then i just do a time pass render for this uh, particular or uh, chair here okay that's it that's uh, my video how to create a chair using uh, this spline modeling in fusion 360 thank you folks and